Hey guys, we had this comment the other day on our new HVAC guide from one of our subscribers on there, and we were talking about standards that are coming out. A lot of frenzy right now with the efficiency standards are now gonna change at the end of this year. You're gonna start seeing more equipment with SEER 2 ratings on them instead of the old SEER. Because of that, there's been some confusion on what's that gonna look like? Are you gonna, are you gonna go to jail if you install one of these systems that don't meet the new standards? And so hoping to do a video to clear that up. Uh, first of all, I will say, if you haven't seen anything on this particular topic, depending on what part of the country you're in, it may play a role on what your minimums are. So definitely look that up. It's on the Department of Energy site. I've done other videos on it as well. The Southeast is going to have stricter ratings as far as how low they have to get with those ratings versus say the Northeast. We're seeing everyone's ratings be a little different and what those new SEER 2 ratings have to be to be able to sell in that market. And so it becomes this deal where you say, well, it's January 1st now of 2023. If you're seeing this video in the future, uh, during the making of this video, we are still waiting for that to come, that we're still waiting for SEER 2 equipment to come out, right? So here's the answer. If you say, well, if I happen to somehow get my hands on a 14 SEER, not SEER 2, but 14 SEER 1 heat pump in the Southeast where it should be at least 14.3 SEER 2 or higher. So if I've got one of these older systems, can I still legally install it? And the answer is yes. Yes, you can. And here's how that works. You have to have a piece of equipment that was manufactured pre-January 1st, 2023, okay? So in other words, let's say you are in Northern Virginia and you're right on that line between the Northeast and the Southeast and somehow you can cross that state line or get something delivered to you that does not meet these new standards. And I think what's gonna happen is a couple of things. The first thing is you're gonna go to register that equipment. So you're gonna have this 14 SEER 1 system that is not meeting the new Department of Energy standards. So it's not a SEER 2 rated piece of equipment, or it might be SEER 2, but it's not 14.3 or higher. So you've got this equipment that does not meet the new standards, right? One thing that's gonna happen is you're gonna probably go to register that warranty and you won't be able to do it. The manufacturer is gonna say, look, what you're trying to put in does not meet standards and you can't register this warranty. We're not gonna warranty the product, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is there may be crackdowns. The EPA in the past had things in place where if people were breaking laws and doing things that are not supposed to, that there is repercussions for that. So if you are still breaking this rule, if you're somehow putting in say a 13 or 14 SEER 1 system in a market or in an area that you're not supposed to be, that it's supposed to be 14.3 SEER 2 or higher, then you can possibly get in trouble and have repercussions taken against you. Now, what those repercussions are, I don't want to get into that on this video. You can look it up online and partly because depending on where you are, or what laws you break might depend on what the actual punishment is if you were to break that law. So I would say that a lot of these new standards that are being put in place, if you have an older system, it is grandfathered in to these new standards. And what I mean by that is I know, I personally know of some suppliers in the Southeast that are stocking up on these older systems because the price is gonna go up on these newer standard systems. That's a whole nother topic. I've talked about that in other videos and I think it's a bunch of hoo-ha, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, the thing is the SEER 2 systems are gonna be a little higher in price. And so a lot of these manufacturers are gonna stock up on the, uh, some of them are calling it the legacy 14 SEER, SEER 1, systems, the old stuff, they're stocking up on it and they're going to be able to continue to sell it because when you go to register it or install it, you're being grandfathered in to these new standards or laws. So right or wrong, that's just the way it is. That's the way it's going to work. This same thing happened years ago with the standards going from 13 to 14 SEER in the Southeast and other parts of the country being raised. And then we also saw this with water heaters a few years ago where they came out and said, look, the insulation has to be thicker for efficiencies on these water heaters. And so as that date neared, as that date came closer, you saw a lot of 
plumbing supply houses companies stocking up on the old stuff so that way people would still be able to purchase the old stuff sometimes when they come out with new standards the sizes the water heaters the sizes were larger because of the thicker insulation and you couldn't put a 50 gallon water heater back in the same hole dimension wise as a 50 gallon that was there because it was bigger literally the point is that you will be able to grandfather if you're not sure if you're following the rules or whatever definitely check with your local pro your pro if he's not sure then he'll be able to call his supplier or call his manufacturer and be able to get those answers for you hopefully so the bottom line is not all is lost just because january 1st the big manufacturers won't be able to produce or sell certain things in certain parts of the country i saw where some parts of the country they were coming out and suing or or threatening to sue uh, people over this saying look we need more time they're going to the department of energy we need more time well you have that time if you're already under contract go ahead and get a deposit go ahead and purchase that equipment now and even if it's installed next year it's no harm no foul that said definitely check with your local pro if you're not sure on something so anyway let me know your thoughts are you in that situation do you have some equipment that you're just not quite sure, maybe it's a little older, you just don't wanna break any laws or get in trouble, and you just wanna make sure you're following all the rules there. So definitely comment down below, and I appreciate those comments, appreciate those likes, appreciate those subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and all your support. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.